I am so frustrated. <laughs> what is up with the internet? I just want to paint. I just want to paint. Okay, so I'm going to keep painting. I'm going to keep going. Let's see, how can I do this? How can I do this for y'all? I know, hey guys, you know what? It's not, Facebook's not going to beat me. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Okay, here we go. Watch, watch this. This is me. This is me on the floor. I can read your comments. Hey guys. So, I've got Boss, my brush, and I'm going to keep doing this. I mean, I might as well to keep trying, right? I don't, I don't want to do this, be out here by myself. I'd rather be talking to y'all. I'm by myself all day. Well, not really. Not right now. All right, so what am I doing? If you are just now seeing this, because Facebook is being very, very bullheaded, uh, I am painting a chair just in my shop, painting a chair that has very, very bold fabric in a bold plaid that I no longer need. Actually, I don't need it. I bought it like this. This is a custom order for a client um, that has requested a very whimsical chair with a lot of pink. And so I've already painted the back and the seat in a soft pink. And I'll be doing artwork on it, but right now I'm covering it in Dixie Belle Boss because I'm trying to block the color of this bold plaid since I'm painting it with a light color of paint. I'm back again. <laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, so y'all can tell people what I'm doing. Since y'all have seen this now, how many times? How many times have we uh, left and come back? Uh, let me know if you have questions, guys. There are many ways to paint furniture. Uh, there are many ways to paint fabric. I uh, paint all sorts of fabric. I paint leather. Um, I paint canvas. Um, I paint overalls, so I paint denim and shoes and wood furniture. I paint everything. I paint all the things. And this is, I teach uh, a watercolor painting technique on canvas and also on denim and also on chairs, but that is not what this is. This is not the watercolor technique. This is going to be more like can have a little bit of a uh, coarse texture to it and that's exactly what I'm after um, but it'll still be comfortable and you'll still be able to sit on it oh man I'm I'm flinging boss <laughs> I'm flinging boss on my other seat there so uh, yay look I've got so many people on all of a sudden I'm so glad and y'all aren't even talking to me no one's even asking any questions so anybody have any questions? So if you're painting fabric and you have a super dark fabric and you want to go to a light fabric, you can use Dixie Belle's Boss Primer. Yes, you can. Yes, it's to prime furniture, but yes, you can also use it on fabric. Hello, Pam. Hi, Terry. I see you watching too. Hi, hon. I am so hot out here, y'all. My AC is, uh, with these lights on, is really struggling to keep up. The lights are really bright. Doing a transfer and listening to you. Oh, that's good, Brittany. How are you not getting that all over your pants? I already have paint all over these roofs. <laughs> I do. I don't, I try not to, but, but I do. Long time ago when I used to paint, you know, around the clock hours, I don't paint that many hours a day anymore, but when I used to, I just, I didn't even care. Everything I owned was covered and I just brushed all over. I didn't use rags. I just used my clothes. I'm much neater nowadays than I used to be. I say it's because I actually have a life now. I, I actually do try to, you know, get dressed normally. I remember for years Matt would say, it would just be nice one day to come home and you not look like um, a construction work, a worker covered in paint. I would love to see my wife one day just come home and you have like real normal clothes on. I remember it used to hurt my feelings. He didn't mean to hurt my feelings. But I would think, well, I'm working so hard for the family. But he did say, I'm just tired of you always looking like such a mess, which totally does not sound like him. But I think I was tired of it too. 
I'm just talking away about nothing while I'm painting here, I'm trying to focus. Uh, does boss stiffen the fabric more? Patty, it does, yes, a little bit, but I'm actually okay with that because uh, I want it to be very, very durable for one thing, and also I'm kind of making a canvas to do artwork on. Uh, but not like you think. It doesn't stiffen it like, it just feels like another coat of paint. It doesn't feel uh, like anything more than just another coat of paint. And then were you with us on the other page? Um, or did you watch the Dixie Bell one where I showed uh, how you, you use this finishing pad in between? So once this dries, oh, thank you, my earrings, you, you see? They're like graffiti. They say love and, I don't know, peace, I think, maybe, love. You like them? Thank you. So I use this little finishing pad in between all the coats so it breaks that surface. It breaks that sealed hard part, and it just kind of buffs it out. Okay, so I've got boss on the whole thing. I think I want a little bit more over here. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of boss on these handles. I'm not doing the piping. I mean, I can, I just don't need to because I'm pretty sure that um, I know my design idea and I'm planning on doing the piping. It may change, but I'm planning on doing the piping in black. So my black caviar, Dixie Belle caviar, is gonna completely cover um, the, the bold colors and the patterns. So that's what I was saying. If, you, if I was gonna paint this chair another color, if I were gonna do, you know, like Hurricane Gray or mermaid tail turquoise or anything like that, you don't have to have, uh, you don't have to use primer. I'm having to use primer because I'm going with soft pink. <laughs> so this is gonna be, I, I know what I'm doing. I have several design ideas and I'm gonna probably use a little bit of each idea and piece it together. It's gonna be very whimsical for my client. She's a sweetheart. She ordered a gumball machine from me and this chair. All right. And the chair itself will be painted too, but I haven't decided what color. It might be gold. I'm not sure. All right. Um, I have some garage shell parcels. If I sew with boss and paint a couple of coats of paint, could a uh, decoupage with 18 pound tissue and seal again? Yes, you sure could. And you probably won't need to do a couple of coats of paint. You probably could do it with just a coat of, one coat of paint, to be honest. Or, or why, are, why do you feel like you need to boss them rather than just paint them? Are they dark and you're going light? If they are a color and you're covering them with a dark paint, you don't need to boss them unless, are they covered with a bunch of stains or something? Um, but yeah, for sure, boss them if you want. And then yeah, you can use decoupage, you can transfers, you can use transfers, you can use stencils. Um, yep, you sure can. Champagne pink be too light to use with soft pink in a stripe. No, it would not, but it almost looks white. Is that, who is that, Carol? Yeah, Carol, It uh, champagne pink is so light that, I mean, I really don't use it very much. I've used it very few times because to me, I'm like, well, I might as well use white. Because when I have used it, people can't even tell that it's a pink, you know? I'm trying to think what I have used it on. I know I have, but it just looks white. But yes, you could do that. All right, so my little arms are done. I've got those covered pretty good. Okay, put a little more boss right here. I think that's covered. Ooh. All right. Oh, look, I haven't pinked my side. Let's get this side done. Leather can be painted? Absolutely, Mary, absolutely. In fact, I prefer it. I prefer to paint leather over fabric, to be honest. Um, leather turns out really buttery soft and holds up really well. If you go to, um, do you go to my website, Mary, or are you on my email list? 
Um, my website is a great search engine. I've had it for years and years, and I've been blogging for years. Um, and every single project, every single week, I do at least one project a week that I put on there. And I give away all my details there, all my colors that I use, products that I use. I take tons of pictures. I attach my YouTube video so you can watch it in video format if you want. Um, but yeah, my leather uh, advice is there. So go to tracysfancy.com and then just put it in the search bar. There's a search bar. And just type in whatever you want, leather. Just type in leather and any project that I've ever done with painted leather will show up for you right there. I got some on my face. Um, yeah, it's a great resource for your for your painting projects. And my contacts also there, like in my tutorials, if you want to like sign up for classes or get a weekly email or anything. There's lots of options there. Okay, see what I do here, guys? I kind of pull this forward like that. Pull it forward, and then I'm going to get my tiny art brush, and I'm going to get back here in the back. I'm just going to th literally throw some paint down in there. No one's going to see it. Throw it down in there and then let go, and it'll be up against that chair. But I feel better about it knowing that it's covered better. I'm going to do the same thing. I know y'all can't see, but I'm going to do the same thing around this back side. Just getting in there really good. And there we go. Okay. I need to do it right here too. Right here. It's all covered. Is this dry? Nope, that's still a little bit wet. I was thinking if that was dry, we could paint that together right now but it's not do we have any little nicks and crannies that we need to cover on this pull that did i pull that down no nope, let's do that one pull it forward get your small brush throw some paint down in there and then just let go that should be good um but if you don't paint down in there they will be but if you don't they will be see it yeah meaning yes of course like so if you <laughs> i say no one's gonna see it so then i'm like isn't that how it works then you say oh no one will ever see it and then lo and behold someone will see it you're exactly right you're so right so you might as well do it for peace of mind right um oh someone's y'all are talking enjoy oh grambo how are you how are you? Good to see you on here. How's Marilyn? Marilyn's done, hon. Where have you been? <laughs> Where have you been? Uh, Marilyn is good. Marilyn's in my bedroom. She's talking about my, I think she's talking about my Marilyn headboard. Um, she's good. She's in my, in my guest bedroom. And sometimes I go sleep in there. When I can't sleep well, sometimes I go to the guest bedroom. Uh, did you see Mar uh, Marie Antoinette? Did you see my Let Them Eat Cake piece with Marie Antoinette? Hey, Lorraine, you were traveling. Ooh, safe travels. How's it been? I haven't traveled in forever. I can't even imagine what it would feel like to travel right now. I feel like so stuck. Stuck like Chuck. Um, sorry, I'm putting my lid on my paint because we're not going to paint anymore because... This chair needs to dry, but I'll let that sit here behind me and y'all can see the back of that. Uh, do y'all have any other questions? Any other questions I can answer at all? I will tell y'all that I'm gonna let all of this dry and then I'm gonna draw my design on next. And then after I uh, draw my design on, I will then do my stripes I'll draw my stripes outside of my design. So let's say you draw a design like this, then I'll draw my stripes outside of all of that and leave this open. So I'll do my stripes and then I'll come and paint my design next. Um, yes, Marie, Marie found her forever home before she was even finished really, to be honest. Um, her forever home is in Florida. She's not there yet, she's right here. Oh, yes, please go look on, go look on um, either my website or on Facebook and you will see her. Um, it wasn't for fun. It was for work. Oh, yuck. I'm sorry. But I mean, still, ugh, you got it. You got away 
We're all so stuck. <laughs> uh, can I paint drop cloth? Will it be soft enough to make slip covers? Yes, ma'am. As a matter of fact, um, Patricia, we just had a huge drop cloth made into a kennel cover for us. We had a lady, Matt just drew up what he wanted and she made it and it's a great kennel, makes a great slip cover for a kennel cover. But yes, you can paint on that. Drop cloths are amazing. I'm sitting on a drop cloth right now that's got paint all over it. And it is so, it is so soft, even with the paint all over it. It's still soft. So yeah, I'm sitting on one <laughs> that's covered in paint. So yes, ma'am, you sure can. That's a great idea. Really good idea. Um, from Brisbane, Sarah. Hi, hun. Hi, Susan. Uh, Yvonne, I'm not going to say because she wants me to surprise her and she follows me. So if I say what it is, I will also won't be doing it online. So if I say what it is, then she'll know. I, I mean, as it is, I'm letting her know what color her stripes are, which I didn't even really want to do that. But um, I felt like this was a really good teaching project because it is a dark fabric going to a light fabric. So um, plus I felt like it was a good time for me to explain the difference between dyeing your fabric and painting your fabric um, because there's such a such a difference uh, let's see first I'm watching you oh I'm so glad Jackie did you watch over on Dixie Bell page thank you so much for following along I hope to I hope to keep it interesting <laughs> all the time uh, do you have steps for paint fabric furniture yes I do Carolyn um, if you go to um, well I think that I have, go go look I've written so many blogs about it that Sometimes I've just said the steps so many times that I just do picture blogs. So, but I think so. I think that there's even YouTube videos attached. So if you'll just go to my website, tracysfancy.com and search uh, fabric paint or yeah, yeah. I've got canvases and denim overalls and, and then I also have tutorials for, for sale as well. So if you want to buy a video that's a couple of hours long where I literally hold your hand and I tell you every product and every step of the way and you have a hundred percent success with it because I've told you like you don't miss anything um, those are available too but I also have blogs where you know I tell you the majority of the steps for sure over there uh, Marie turned out amazing thank you so much would love to see more leather projects Susie so did you go check I have my recent I have my leather chair and for my office and I have a leather headboard and footboard a leather bed did you see both of those because they're it's no I mean both of them just look those over watch my videos read the steps um, that it's that easy leather is easy really really easy uh, oh Susan that's a good idea um, been stalking my emails hoping I know Carol it hasn't and actually um, I just got news today that it isn't even going to land. They paid extra to have it shipped there in time. And anyway, I'm going to send everybody out an email. We're, ha we're struggling with that a little bit. And my daughter, <laughs> I'm not going to get into that right here. Just look for an email from us, okay? It will give information about how we're going to handle that. And also, it looks like I'm going to be having a grandbaby um, at, during the class. So, uh, I don't know. I'm struggling right now. I may have to put the class off one week. One week. We may have to reschedule it one week, which would actually maybe be good because then for sure everybody has time to get their mold. So I haven't made that executive decision. I'm just letting y'all, those of you that are watching right now, know that that might be happening because I'm going to be there for my grandbaby. So um, to be born. So we'll know that to, and after her doctor appointment tomorrow. We'll know more about that. Okay, so just be patient. Uh, your website, I will see more. You mentioned classes. Are they over the internet or in person? Um, Jackie, yes, my website, tracysfancy.com. Go there. It's loaded with every, it's like all, everything I do is in one place on my website. So Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, everything, and then every blog that I write, every class I offer, every online tutorial, any in-person class, which right now we don't have any because of COVID, but um, everything is there on, on the website. And if you sign up for my email, you get an email every Sunday. And people actually like getting my emails. It goes out at 9.30 in the morning. You get it about 9.30 in the morning. People drink their coffee and read my little, what I did for the week. And it gives you the project that I did for the week and anything else that I have offering um, that's coming up, you find out first. So 
So that's that. Oh, Yvonne, thank you for understanding. <laughs> um, oh, Jackie, I was way behind. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, have you ever used soft pink with pink metallic? Just curious. I've seen it over T. Rose. I have not. So um, you mean the, yeah, the moonshine metallic in rosé? I haven't. I haven't done that over soft pink. I've used rosé over black. It's beautiful. Uh, yes, you can, Patricia. Um, seal with easy peasy spray wax, and then I wait 30 days to wash it, and I wash in cold water and hang to dry. Uh, how's Haley doing? She's so pregnant. I have a long story about her ring today. Uh, uh, she's hot. It's 107 degrees. Christine, you're so sweet. Thank you, honey. Um, yay, baby. <laughs> yes, yes, Carolyn. Oh my gosh, so many. I have so many. Really, I'm really proud of my classes. I'm really proud of my pre -re they're pre-recorded tutorials. They're very professional. Um, they come, I have a team of girls that help with like, you get PDFs and printouts and it's your video forever. We have passwords and it's, I, I, I am proud of them. So um, I hope you will check them out. Um, <laughs> you want to be there for the baby to be born. Uh, yeah, well, I will be making that decision. Um, oh, Melissa, thank you. Yeah, we just had this discuss discussion today. She said, Mom, just wait. Before you go doing something like that, let's just wait till the doctor appointment and see. Oh, congratulations, and congratulations. Um, yes, yes, yes. Oh, good. So, yeah, the live classes. So, my classes, thank you, Mary Jo. Uh, any of my live classes, so I have this bubblegum machine class that's, that's coming up that we're talking about right now. That's my current class that's online. Um, they're live and, uh, and you can watch it live, but a lot of people don't, they don't watch it live, but you get to be part of the group for a couple of weeks while people are working on their projects and sharing, you know, or, or sharing their struggles or their triumphs with their project. Um, and then the, the video belongs to you forever. So you don't have to be there for the actual live. So that's that. I'm so glad. I love I love getting new people. Yay, that's awesome. Okay, guys. Well, listen, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm just going to let this dry. I'm going to wash up my brushes and uh, go hang out with my family. And that puzzle, y'all, that puzzle I'm working on is kicking my butt. Oh, I get, I it's kicking my butt. It's a hard one. Like, I've almost wanted to quit several times. So I'm trying to just, like, walk by and put a couple pieces on it and then keep moving so I don't get mad at it. I'm getting mad at my puzzle. <laughs> You guys have a wonderful night, and I will see some of y'all for Coffee Talk on Friday morning, 9 o'clock Central Time. Join me for Coffee Talk. Thank you, and these were, Haley had a little earring business for a little while, and these were some of hers. Happy baby. <laughs> baby won't be coming yet. Not yet. She's a couple weeks out, but it's looking like they may be inducing, um, the, it may be, there may be an induction coming that's right at when I scheduled my gumball class. So we'll see. We shall see. I know you guys are patient with me, so it'll be okay. All right. Love you all. We'll talk to y'all soon.